hello everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about uh, uh, array list again uh, so this is the second part of array list so in the last video we have seen uh, how to create array list class and uh, how to store the values in array list and what are the different properties uh, of array list we have seen that and also we talked about different methods uh, how we can uh, manipulate the array list so yeah we have created a uh, uh, kind of uh, array list with uh, generics okay so take an example like i have created an integer type of so there we can store integer type of uh, data and we have seen different methods uh, associated with uh, array list and uh, at last we have seen how to iterate uh, array list okay so in today's class i'll show you how to create uh, how to store user defined class objects in in array list okay so because that is very important um, so people might ask you at the time of interview as well and it's very important how to you know use store the user defined class object so let me show you uh, so that means it does not it it does not only contains uh, primitive or non primitive data types it contains uh, user defined objects as well okay so i'll show you how it, we can uh, store user defined objects in array list so let me just create a class let me create a student class okay so in this uh, student class i'll create uh, three variable okay student name age and uh, roll number okay so we have created a uh, three uh, variables inside this student class okay now let's create another class this time I'll give a test class. I'll select public static void main. So what I'll do, I'll create the object of. Uh, let's uh, initialize the values uh, using constructor here. Okay. So this is how I can create the constructor. Here, uh, let's. And give this variable only will pass parameters okay int age and string roll number and we use uh, this keyword to distinguish the uh, instance variable with local variable okay this dot we have seen this in earlier classes as well h and this dot roll number to roll number so what we have done I have created a project uh, sorry a class called student uh, there we have three instance variables okay three instance variables we have a student name age and roll number and I have created one in constructor to initialize those values so we'll pass three parameters okay and we'll initialize the value of student name age and roll number okay so now let me just create uh, so here I have created the student class so let me just create the object of student class obj1 student so let's create uh, three objects object 1 object 2 and object 3 okay so since we have constructor with 
three parameters so we have to pass three values here first one is uh, name age and roll number so this you can take int as well okay so student name suppose will give student 1 age uh, 22 20 and row number 1 to 3 similarly for this one student 2 age 21 1 2 3 4 student 3 is 22 and row number 1 2 3 4 5 okay so what we have done we have created three objects uh, three objects of student class and we have passed the values okay now let's create uh, array list array list and uh, we'll give name array list okay array list so here i have created the generics okay so what kind of objects we can store in this uh, what kind of objects uh, this will store this array list right so we have uh, a student type of objects right so we'll give object as a student here okay and we have to import this from java.util what happened Oh, sorry new keyboard I forgot okay so this is how we can create the array list okay now let's add the values okay dot add so we have a uh, obj1 here so we'll add all those objects j1 here okay similarly I can copy all those and I can paste it over here one two and three now we'll iterate uh, this array list using iterator okay so we have array list and we have iterator method okay now we'll store this uh, this into uh, iterator interface uh, reference variable itr and we have to import this java.util and we have to give this as a student type of objects okay so what we have done we have created three objects okay of strain class and uh, we pass three values right uh, strain one two and three and we have created a list of student type object okay and we have added three elements in our array list and here we are using uh, let's make a comment i iterate through iterator now what we can do we'll use while loop okay so itr dot has next next okay has next means in our array list if it has uh, 
uh, it, it has the next element okay then it will go inside this loop okay and itr dot next we have uh, uh, method okay and it will retrieve the object so we'll store in store an object string type of object so we'll give name is two okay now simply we'll print uh, those values dot uh, student name let's take uh, three print statement over here and the second one is student dot roll number and third one is first we have to second age let's take second age and third would be the roll number in any order you can print so this is fine so now let's run this so here we go so this is strand 1 data 20 and 123 strand 2 data 21 1 2 3 4 and third strand data 21 and 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is how we can use the uh, user defined class objects in array list so this is very important so let me just recap what we have done so far so i have created a strand class so there i have defined three instance variables strand name age and roll number and I have defined one uh, constructor here where I am passing three parameters so this is parameterized construct constructor right so to initialize the value of uh, uh, all the instance variable okay I come back to this test class so here I have created the object of strand class and I am passing from this constructor three values okay and I have created the array list so in this array list I am creating uh, I'm adding those objects okay which we have created object 1 2 3 in array list and through iterator I am simply iterating those elements okay those retrieving those elements through iterator okay so this is how you can use the class objects in uh, array list okay so in the next video we'll talk about uh, linked list guys uh, so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye